Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am recording this lecture on SSIS. Today what I am doing is I am adding a row number with each of the record which is coming into the SSIS from some source. For this first of all I need to add the state of flow task. After this uh, we have to double click on this. Now what I have done is I have used this flat file as a source. It is having these four columns. Employee name, employee phone, employee address, employee city. Now after this what I have to do is I have to add a script component which is a net transformation component here. I need it for transformation rather than for destination. What I am doing is I am adding the input from here to here. Now I have to click on edit. Now what I will do is I will add a column for this uh, into the output columns. Now I have to give a name to this column. So just remember that I am giving a row call name. I will be using this name further on into script now after this we have to go into the script okay now i will click on this edit script button here what i have to do is i have to declare an integer variable let me declare a row with lowercase r now what i have to do is i have to use this now uh, in this uh, event like input uh, process input row event we have this row as input zero buffer so this will be having all the columns which we have declared in output i have declared if you remember i have declared row call as an output column so what i have to do is i have to initialize with it the with, with the value of row after it after this i have to increment the row value with one now i have to save it we will close it okay now i need a, any of the tasks to show you output any of the transformation tool to show the output uh, let me use derived columns okay now i have to drag it here let me enable data viewer for you okay now clicking on this now let me run it if you will see it will be having the row number into it and if you will uh, if you will see here we don't have any row number into the data which is coming through the flat file the flat file data with no columns then the then the row number with the final output column from the script component as you can see it is very easy you can download the project from the URL provided under the video have a good day keep learning